Ladies and gentlemen, I know it is typically not conventional for us to meet outside, but the main reason why I summoned you all here outside is because of the fact that we can now be symbolically closer to nature, as God created nature itself. Now as we turn to Psalm 23:4, we delve into the great struggle that comes before David. He restores my soul. He guides me in the paths of righteousness for the sake of his name. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. And in the end, he shall lead you towards the divine path. How should I know where that path leads? Well, that is the hand of God at work. You never know where the path will lead you in the end. But when you arrive at your destination, any fear, any doubt that you may have previously had will simply cease. Hey, I'd like to thank you for recommending me to this church. It's definitely really implicit. Oh, yes, of course it is. We are like a tightly knit family. Hey, how has your husband been? I haven't seen him in a few weeks. He works as a nurse, so he's pretty busy at the hospital. So sometimes he comes home at like 2 a.m. Oh, I see. Hello, Pastor. Greetings. How does everything go with your husband? Oh, he's been really busy at work. Uh, sorry that he can't make it anymore. It's just that a lot of people require his services now. Ah, I see. God has given him another task. To heal others. A very noble task indeed, however. Thank you. I'm very humbled. And he does think about you. I see. Maybe I could come by and have a short chat with him sometime. Of course. Maybe tomorrow. Very well then. Thank you. Greetings, Brother Alex. Yes. Something's been troubling me. You never have felt such a dark presence. So it's not me too. No, I sense it too. But God has lent me divine insight. And I know I won't, what I must do. What can we do? Simply give ourselves salvation, brother. Thank you. Pastor, I would like to apologize once again for failing to make it recently. No apology necessary. Some people come, and some people just go. That's what my grandfather used to say. Are you sure about that? Of course. You have continually funded us. Because of you, we have risen to prominence, and we are very grateful for this. Of course. It is the least I can do. You have been there for me in some of the turbulent times. Mm. Indeed. You have certainly helped others by healing them. Certainly, they must be grateful in their own right. Thank you, sir. It means a lot to me. Yes, I also stopped by to ask if you two would like to join us for a ceremonial dinner. I would like to come, but I can't. The shifts at the hospital are becoming more intense due to the recent spike in measles. Ah, oh, what a shame. If those people were truly wise, they would have had themselves vaccinated. Oh, I'll be able to go. I have a few days off this week, so when and where will it be? We will be at our usual summit in two days at 5 p.m. Okay, I'll be there. All right, very well then. I have some errands that I have to tend to. Thank you again for the hospitality. 
Of course, God with us. God with us. Brother Aaron has warned me about a dark presence. I see. I've been feeling this dark presence well for several months. I believe the time has finally come. God shall suffer for life and punish those on earth. God will indeed punish those who do not believe in his power. But we are truly divine individuals, and there is a chance, even a small one, that we could save our souls. God said that those who are blinded by such foolishness will be left to perish in their ignorance. When will such immaculate destruction befall us? Very soon that time will be revealed to us. What seems to ail you? It's been lately that I feel that my faith has changed. Jesus told his disciples to always have faith, and that those who live by the sword shall die by the sword. Now come, let us go. gentlemen, I'd like to thank you all for joining me here today on this very wonderful day. We shall begin our discussion here today. Did you watch the morning news today? Oh no, I couldn't because I was getting ready for work. What happened? Actually, there was this really loud sound recorded in the ocean. A loud sound? Yeah, the largest sound ever recorded. Hmm, must have been a blue whale or something. Who knows? Allison, how was your day? I've been blessed to see another day, but something off happened. Well, what do you mean? My husband had a friend over, but they haven't seen each other in years. 
What happened to him? Well, he originally was in the military and he served in active combat in Syria, Afghanistan, and Pakistan. Mm -hmm. I asked him if he wanted to join us for church on Sunday. Mm -hmm. He just told me that the church will be in another place. I would just like to relay a message that has been granted to me by God. As many of you know, the earth is currently suffering through a most turbulent time. At this very moment that we speak, the earth is suffering from increases in temperature, from people gaining sickness, and now the Leviathan is rising out of the water. So, what do you suggest we do? Similar to how God spoke to Noah and told him to depart before the great flood, God has given us select individuals our time to depart from this world. How will we go about this? The strange individual that Allison encountered today has only validated my premonitions. He said that the church was going to be in another place. And I take that to mean that all of us as selected individuals by God will be in another place. Away from this wretched life that is about to come to an end. Ladies and gentlemen, I understand that all of us are currently in fear. But remember that in the 11th century, the knights aligned themselves with the Templars, the Hospitallers, and later down the road, the Teutonic Order. We too will depart on our own crusade across the cosmos, away from this wretched life that has plagued not only us, but the millions of people that live here. We shall begin our departure. Everyone else will perish. This is the inevitable end. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we shall begin our time to depart the living realm. I know that all of us have truly become attached to our physical vessels, but once the spirit and the mind have departed these shells, we shall finally be free. Free to have truly unimaginable power that no other living person could ever possibly ponder. Now, we shall depart and go into the spiritual realm.